Welcome back to Software Inc, everybody. I hope you're having a good one because I am excited to be back. There's actually been an update to Software Inc since I last played it, which was like a week ago, and I'm really excited to jump in and take a look at some of these things because they're actually pretty cool and it's kind of stuff I've been wanting for a little while. So let's get right to it and see what's new. So first and foremost, I can go to my door down here and I can change the color of it, which I think is really cool. So that changes the little signs on there so I can make those like bright green or something so that they're clearly there. Then tertiary is the frame of the door itself which I think is really cool because I could go and grab like this exterior color and then I could go to my door down here and say that the door is now like made of the same wood that the supports of the building are made from. And I actually really like that idea. So that's where the next thing comes in because on that uh, floor, I believe there are two doors. So if I go here and I say select all, select segment types and selected rooms, well, it's not actually going to work, but if I do it on this one, it's going to select all of those double doors because you can now do that as well. Oh, I realize this is a separate room. That's why I'm a bit of an idiot, but I can do the same here. I can select those windows and I can go and change the frame color if I wanted to. I'm not going to on the windows, but that's that's a thing we can do. And I really like that. I can also go in here and I can, you know, well, I can dismantle it, but I can change the, the primary, secondary and tertiary colors. So tertiary is the frame of the door. Secondary is the door handle, which I guess should be that color. And primary can stay white. I like that a lot. I think that's really, really cool. I I genuinely do. I genuinely kind of love that. It's such a cool little, little detail. And then if we hop into build mode here, you can see that the default standard door actually has a couple of styles in here already. You've got a plain white one. You've got a, a black one as well. We'll actually go ahead up to, let's use this kitchen as an example. So if I go in and get rid of the archway and we go to this door, we can put like a, a black one right there. And that's pretty cool, but I can also like change the style. So it's like, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a different looking door. I, I love that. I genuinely, genuinely love that that's a thing. So we'll have the kitchen have that right there and we'll go back into live mode. And now we have like a nice, cool stylized door for the kitchen in whatever this building was. This was the, oh man, what was this? <laughs> what was this building? Research building, that was the one. Yeah, I love that. I think that's so, so cool. And then if we go and have a look at the patch notes for beta 1.1.22, we can see already you can colorize windows and doors with different looks to the standard door. You can now put signs on doors, which you can sort of see in the picture right there. Police will now ignore parking assignments. There's added unfixed bug count to collapsed support work item, which you can see over here, sort of in the background on the right, how many bugs are queued in the collapsed tab, which I absolutely adore as well. And the width of the wall mounted conveyor belt has been reduced. So it fits right up against walls. And unfortunately fire inspection fines now scale with company size. I feel cold out on that one. I'm going to be honest. I feel a little bit, I feel a little bit cold out. All right. It's the right thing to do, but I feel cold out. <laughs> This one right here as well, room use limits no longer apply to pass through. So a designer can pass through a programmer only room to get to another room. That's that's another thing I was having not issues with. It made sense, but we were seeing that in some of our rooms somewhere. I believe it was over here because we'd set this up with uh, the entrance to this studio space being designers only. So now that means that technically this space here doesn't have to be set up as uh, pass through enabled because essentially the programmers and artists of the same team can pass through that space because it's for the same team. I'm just saying, I feel, I feel seen. I feel heard. I don't know if I just, this is all stuff that I've wanted and I'm so happy about it. Okay. I'm so happy about it. Anyway, anyway, we've got that out of the way. There is some sad news, of course. If you've been paying attention to the series thus far, you will know what today's episode is. It is December 2025. All of the founders of Nerdresoft are gone. We are a two plus billion dollar company. And this is going to be our final episode of Nerdresoft. Now, before 
Before that sinks in, there is some good news. There is going to be more software ink on the channel in the near future. I have talked about this already, but I want to do some build videos. I have a couple of ideas for it. And then in a couple of weeks, I kind of want to do a hard mode series. And we might do like two days per month on that and see how things go. Maybe four founders again, just because I kind of like that. And it's a little bit easier, but I've never played hard mode or whatever the hardest difficulty is in software ink. I've never done it. So I'd like to. And I'd like to see how that goes. But that's something we can worry about in the future. It's not a right now thing. So, in terms of what we're doing right now, well, we are going to go ahead and start developing Mississippi John. We are currently developing Dream World. We're designing Ultimate Bass Fishing and we're designing Commander Stabby Face. I want to get all of those done. Every single one of them. I want to get out, get it out the door. I also want to look at improving my ability to manage updates. Now, of course, we do have multiple update teams now, which is great news, but they are still sort of taking forever to do anything. For example, we're porting Captain Murderstab 8 right now, and it's not even halfway done. It's about a third of the way done. Although, to be fair, it's taken them six months to get a third of the way there, so that's, that's actually probably reasonable progress and then horse simulator 8 and 10 and 9 i should probably reorganize those a little bit that's kind of confusing uh let's put 10 up there there we go yeah I'd, I'd like these to be ported as well i might actually just cancel the jobs on the previous horse simulators and we'll just focus on horse sim 10 which is actually doing pretty well in terms of profit it's not up there it's not it's no horse simulator 6 but it is, it is getting up there a little bit. I'd like to see it continue to do that. So what I think we'll do is we're porting it right now. Let's see if we can update it. So we can bring the audio up to date. We can bring the 3D up to date and the 2D up to date. And actually, no. Let's not do that. Let's instead go to Vector Studio 5. And let's update that and bring the 2D there up to date as best we can which is going to be my updates team and my 2D team. And then I want my systems team on this as well. So systems is way down here. So we'll throw those guys at that job. And then we want to go down we're looking for a 3D editor, which is going to be Vertex Studio 3. So we want to hit that with an update, bring the tech level up a little bit. That is going to be systems. And instead of 2D, it's of course going to be 3D, which is right there. So we'll hit that update. And for Amplitude Studio 2, we're going to go in, we're going to hit it with an update, and we're going to bring everything up to date on that as well. Unfortunately, actually, we can't. We need to wait for the Vector Studio 5 update to go out, so that's okay. Uh, let's see, got a couple of people retiring. I don't think that's any issues with our teams, though. So let's go ahead and prioritize these software updates over all the porting that we're doing. Because the sooner we get those out, the sooner we can up update Amplitude. And then the sooner we can go ahead and start updating things like, uh, you know, Horse Simulator 10 and Captain Motor Stamp 8. Unfortunately, it's actually looking like this is going to be a really, really quick process. And hopefully that's going to encourage people to go and buy these things as well. Obviously, you know, some updates means that it's the tech levels coming up to date and all that stuff. So we'll see what happens. We did also just lose money. That's interesting. Sales dropped by 10 million, which I don't necessarily love. Uh, we did spend an extra 5.2 million on benefits, which we do around Christmas. So that's not good. I don't, I don't love that. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. But we'll see. We, we'll, we'll probably, we'll, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. We have 2.1 billion dollars. I don't think we're gonna run out anytime soon. And just like that, we have the Amplitude Studio 2 update going, which is gonna take a little while. We've also just released Vector Studio 6, which is kind of interesting, actually. Is it good? It is. It is. It is good. The last one was outstanding. That's got me kind of concerned. Uh, let's look at porting this thing just because that seems like a fantastic idea. And we'll go for all of those systems right there. And hopefully that'll be okay. And in terms of updates, we are not working on one right now. And this thing is actually outdated when compared to the most recent, uh, or sorry, the Vector Studio that came before it. So we'll get audio and updates working, or sorry, sis sorry, not system, 2D and updates and system. I can't speak. I'm, I'm having one of those days, right? I'm having one of those days 
where my mouth is running faster than my brain can keep up with i'm saying things and i'm like getting caught i'm getting carried away with the things i'm saying uh let's see if we can update this and maybe port it in a reasonable amount of time let's bring the amplitude studio update down in priorities a little bit and let's bring these port jobs down as well so that we are just focusing as much as possible on the vector studio 6 update which i have a feeling is not going to go out on time but that's fine we can also go in here and make sure that we're printing this thing so we'll say a maximum as per usual of 250,000 units in stock before we stop printing and actually looking at it we might get this update done before midnight comes around which is lovely that's exactly what we're looking for we'll get this thing up to scratch we'll make it better we'll make it you know modern and and that's good and of course they're slowing down as they get to the home stretch so are they going to get it done by midnight they just about did okay and then the porting's going ahead and that's going to be a whole thing but that's that's good so this thing is now up to date which honestly has me wanting to go in and change the amplitude studio thing but we'll be all right let's just see how vector studio 6 does it did immediately make a profit let's give you a luxury car as well to you know keep you happy it did immediately make a profit which is good so hopefully the next one's going to do that as well and then looking at our next releases we actually have horse simulator 11 coming out next month which is slightly terrifying hopefully that's going to be good uh, i'm also thinking vector studio 7 we should maybe give it a 200 and like 20 percent dev time so that hopefully we get them back to being outstanding uh, also this guy hardware is taking so long on the end phone oh my god <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow wow <laughs> i feel i feel a little bit targeted i'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest i'm gonna be honest i feel a little targeted right now <laughs> no way 20 million dollars <laughs> oh my god okay <laughs> oh that is that's a bit rough <laughs> i feel a little targeted right now i'm gonna be honest with you <laughs> all right <laughs> um so we need some sprinklers is <laughs> what we need I get the feeling I should probably get some sprinklers. I also, hold on. I don't, this says it consumes 500 liters of water. I don't think I have to supply it. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh my God. Okay, so I've added a ton of sprinklers to a lot of our spaces. The entire ground floor in this building now has them. Every room in this building has them. Every room in the support building or whatever this building marketing whatever this was the original game dev support studio thing has them the factory has them and the tower has them as well so hopefully next year the fines are going to be considerably less and i can get a better look at what rooms do not in fact have sprinklers i know i also need to put fire alarms in there as well i will get around to that 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 will happen eventually I'm also realizing I feel incredibly sorry for anyone that downloaded my builds from the Steam Workshop and has put them into their own games because they're about to have the same problem I did and potentially get a nice chunky $20 million fine. Uh, <laughs> can't believe that. I really genuinely feel a little, feel a little cold out right now. <laughs> I've been sitting here this entire time. I'm like, eh, it doesn't matter. Nah, who cares? Who cares about the fines? It's only a thousand dollars. Uh, here we are. All right. We just lost Ned Nichols, who was leading up the vector team. I don't know who to give, you know, the, the vector team to at this point. Um, we have Rocco. We have Carlo. Is Carlo leading anything else right now? It doesn't. Oh, Carlo's leading the operating system team. Never mind. Marcel, are you leading anything? Because you, if you're not, you can lead this. Are you leading Amplitude? No. Okay, Marcel Simmons is now going to lead the Vector team. I don't know what Marcel does, but that, that works for me. All right. How are things going down here? Amplitude Studio is finished updating 
So let's go in and let's go to release dates. Captain Motors tab eight. We want to hit that with an update, which is already going ahead, which is fair enough. So let's prioritize that. It's also only set to updates uh, team one. So let's go updates team two on that to prioritize a little bit. And horse sim 10. I also want to update that with uh, more modern tech as well. So Vector Studio 6 is what we're going to be using there. Amplitude Studio 2 and then Vertex Studio 3. So we want to go in here and get the updates team on this. We want to get the 2D team, the audio team, and the systems aren't getting touched to so 3D. We'll hit that with an update as well. We'll prioritize it. And what just went on there? What is this? Finished, finished printing job for Vertex Studio 4, which is releasing in March 2027. Okay, that's a little bit ahead of time, but I'll, I, I kind of respect the, uh, I respect the grind a little bit there. That's, that's fair enough. And uh, horse sim is done, so let's finish that. And it's looking like the Captain Motor Stab update is going pretty well too. So let's see, horse simulator 10. What did it do last month? It did 1.7 million. With the updates, is it going to do anything better? It's going to do, let's have a look, when it loads, 2.1. Not bad. Not bad at all. When is the next horse sim coming out? It comes out this month. Okay. So we got that update in there right before horse sim 11 comes out. I want to try and get an expansion for horse sim 11 out the door. Also, oh my god, I don't, I still don't love the fact we got that massive, massive fine. That's, uh, wow. That's, that's a bit rough, is what that is. Uh, so, Horse Sim 11 has actually just gone out. It is outstanding. Widespread marketing. Fantastic. Let's immediately hit this with an update to the tech levels. Because what we can do is hopefully uh, get this... Ooh. Interesting. So, audio can actually come up to 2024 now. Although, these guys have 2025. Do we want to try and very, very quickly get Amplitude Studio 2 up to 2024? I I kind of do. I'm going to be honest. I, I want to give that a shot. So let's very, very quickly try and push that update through. I'll keep my releases minimized there and we'll speed things up a little bit and just see if we're able to get this uh, this update done. And it looks like we absolutely can. Now, that does mean that the new horse sim update is maybe going to be a little bit delayed, but, oh, come on, they're so close to getting this thing done. There we go. So that's done. If I now go into my releases and I now go to horse sim 11 and say update, we can bring the audio up to 2024, you to 2023, and you as well. So we're going to be using Vertex Studio 3. We're going to be using, we could get 2025 tech, if we wanted to, I am not going to do that just because I'm a little bit lazy. And the 2D editor is Vector Studio 6, which isn't outstanding, but that's okay. So, the teams on this will be audio, updates, 2D, and 3D. We'll send that through and get it updated. And we'll prioritize it as well. And while that's all going on, let's also go into research and see if we can start looking into things. Because 2026 research, these guys are expecting it in Q2 2027. So let's see if we can't maybe get out ahead of that. Audio is Q4 2026. None of these guys are doing the 2026 level. So let's throw uh, audio research at that one. 3D, 2026, Q3 2027. So we'll get that in there as well. And 2D is 2026 Q4 next year. So we'll throw the 2D research at that. Uh, hardware is expected Q4 this year. We'll give it a shot, though I'm not expecting any miracles there. And systems, 2026, no one is doing it right now. So let's throw my systems research at that as well. And uh, let's make sure all of those are set to priority 10 because occasionally we do throw the research teams at development projects or design projects. So we'll go ahead and get that done. My legal team might struggle a little bit if we do end up getting all of that, because if I remember right, yeah, we do only have two uh, legal teams at the moment. I'm also wondering, does this one have a, this one does have a team leader. So legal, legal day shift. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Did I put legal night shift over here? Is that? Yeah, legal night is here and here. 
I feel like I should move my my legal day shift over here and bring the amount of people that can be on that team up a little bit. I feel like that wouldn't be a bad idea, just getting a couple more people in that team, but we can leave it for now. And I'm sure we'll be okay. This horse sim update's going nicely. Uh, we did just have someone retire, but it doesn't look like it matters too much here, which is lovely. Uh, is this thing, this thing still isn't done. Good Lord. Do we have a hardware team working on this? We do. That's slightly depressing that they're so terrible that it's taking forever for this thing to get to 100%. Oh, this is new as well. Winteed Interactive requested access to your digital distribution platform. Interesting. So that little notification has changed. That's a new thing. Can I... Oh, I can deactivate their deal. I kind of like it. I do kind of like it. Who's taking up the most bandwidth right now? You guys with 85 products on my platform? Not bad. Not bad at all. Auto accept new deals. I like that I can change this. That's pretty cool. I also like the idea of taking a little bit more money from these guys. Because right now we have 100% of the the digital market share. I think that's pretty cool. I I really do. I think that's really, really cool. Uh, now, let's see. How did Horse Sim 11 get on? 4.1 million in profit is lovely. 5.6 last month. We have the update almost ready to go, but let's do an expansion. Let's immediately go in and start working on an expansion. We'll give it, you know, We'll give it everything it needs as opposed to, you know, we'll try to max out the market satisfaction, essentially, is what we're going to go for. So we'll bring the story up a little bit. We'll bring the gameplay up a little bit. There's 63% wasted interest. But honestly, I think that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, this is going to be such a minor little thing, but it has, you know, 100% expected interest from the market. So, in terms of the tools we're using here, let's go ahead and look at Vertex Studio 3, I suppose. Let's sort by release dates. So, Vertex Studio 3. It doesn't have the highest tech level, but I think we'll manage. Uh, we'll go for, I guess, releases. Amplitude Studio 2 has 2024 tech. And then Vector Studio 6 is 2022 so we'll go for that the design teams on this one i'm honestly gonna say it will just be our update teams because i think they can probably manage it and uh that should be a relatively quick thing this is going to take less than a year we've got more than enough people it's 20 bucks it's going to be source controlled and it's horse simulator so I mean, we did do stable markets. I think we did stable markets a couple of times as a bit of a, a bit of a joke. So, hmm, we're going to call it the main event. And yes, I do mean the main event. It is going to be a DLC that introduces horse shows to horse simulator for the first time ever. A franchise all about horses that goes back 40 something years is finally after nearly 50 years getting a horse show expansion called the main event that that seems that seems like a good way way to go with this 20 bucks it'll take no time at all we'll go ahead and develop that and uh we will immediately throw it in there as a priority i don't expect it's going to take that long at all which is completely fine by me. And uh, I think what we'll do is immediately throw marketing at this as well. We're going to say that this thing is coming out in... Well, uh, you know what? No, we'll, we'll see how the design phase goes. And then we'll figure out uh, figure out the, uh, the, the marketing. Because this thing might be done in no time at all. Uh, let's see. Let's finish that update. Let's... Uh, yeah, this thing is legitimately going to be done in, in no time at all. So I feel like September is probably a safe bet. So let's let's just give it a little bit of room. Let's say October. So Q4 2026. We'll go ahead and announce that. It already has followers. Uh, we will market it as per usual with all of our marketing teams. And we'll go ahead and hype it as well. We'll try and get the good old press release done as quickly as we can. And we'll see what people happen to think of the main event Oh, God, I've just realized Doors 3 comes out this November. I might have said that earlier, and it might not have hit me that that's Doors 3. 
releasing this year but that's that's actually potentially a, a pretty big deal so that's something we're gonna have to stay on top of now let's go ahead and start developing the main event which is fortunately hopefully going to be a relatively quick process because we only have a couple of months to get this thing through its development phase and into beta and looking at it i was right it is going to be a relatively quick process in fact i am looking at this and thinking we might spend a single month in alpha before this goes into beta which might be the first time we've ever done that with anything not that i'm complaining i actually kind of like that it might be a relatively quick process it's uh it's kind of nice really uh and phone is it uh, it is so close to going into beta at which point we'll start marketing that thing and pick uh, a release date sometime in 2027 now if these guys would finish the art down here that'd be kind of great which it's 99 give me 100 there we go all right promote it into beta and let's start printing this thing we'll give it a maximum of 250,000, as we always do and we will release it in october and everything will be fine in fact let's also go and market it with another uh press release just because we can so we'll get that going out there ultimate bass fishing is almost ready for its development phase mississippi john and dream world getting towards beta and uh, we can probably go ahead and close this so not bad we are still making money we're doing okay i think horse sim is doing all right as well it could be making a little bit more but i'm not super stressed about it to close these notifications up here as well so i don't have to look at them and let's see so uh not too many bugs to fix which is great this press release is oh my god there's so many people following the main event right now good lord now here's something a little bit exciting we've moved nphone 4 into beta which means we're printing it 250,000 copies of that every well not every month but 250,000 uh units as it were essentially until it stops printing so we'll go ahead and get that going has that computer just been left on interesting very very interesting um can i you know what i don't really i don't really care enough to select all of it it's probably fine uh yeah so we are now manufacturing the n phone 4 we need to market this thing and here's where i'm at we're releasing doors 3 in november this year now it's very very tempting to let's see oh wait no there's a phone operating system in december so let's let's not do that i was gonna put both n phone 4 and doors 3 out in november but that seems like a dreadful idea uh 2027 let's see what we have here these guys my subsidiary they're putting out office pro 11 that's nice we have vertex studio 4 in march we don't have any phone operating systems releasing in 2027 at all currently so let's go for april 2027 for the release date on this guy and that'll be the start of q2 which is fantastic we can go ahead and start looking at press releases we can go ahead and start looking at press builds and we can go ahead and start hyping this thing as well just to make sure that people are excited about it you know they're keen to get their hands on the new n phone it's been how long has it been since the last one so n phone 3 was april 2013 it has it will have been 14 years it'll have been 14 years since we put out a a phone at nerdersoft so it's a big deal this is this is a big deal it could be it could be great for us it could be a disaster we're also trying to patent uh hardware 2026 right now we're almost halfway through the legal process on that which is lovely and i am now i guess just waiting on doors going out in november we're waiting on the main event going out in october and then we have things going out next year as well we have uh, vertex studio 4 and then amplitude studio 3 is october 2029 which is kind of ridiculous to think about that's a that's still a ways away is what that is now let's release this we have not got many followers that's a little bit disappointing but uh i'm sure we'll be okay I'm also looking at main event and noticing it is now losing followers, which I don't necessarily appreciate. It's not losing them very quickly, though, so we are probably okay there. Uh, we also just lost 30... Why did we just... Oh, we just spent 48 million on bills, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be 
Uh, printing. Yeah, 42 million on printing. We're spending 6.1 million on internet bills. Hmm. That's, uh... Well, fair enough. Yeah, that makes... That, that definitely checks out. That's a ridiculous amount of money on printing right there, but... Well, I'm pretty sure if we go and have a look at distribution, do we have... Yeah, we have 250,000 units in stock, so we're not going to be printing any more of that for now. Uh, now, looking at assembly lines... I think we're okay for the end phone. I don't suspect it's going to be so popular that we need to upgrade our assembly lines or anything like that. I, I have a feeling it's probably going to be a little bit of a... I don't want to say that the end phone is going to be a disappointment, but I'm not expecting miracles. I also want to go ahead and get this going as well so we can start to, uh, to patent audio 2026 as well. In fact, let's go ahead and bring the priority on that down so they can finish hardware first and then go straight into the audio one. Okay, it's October. Let's go ahead and release the main event and see what people think of it. It is, we can tell a lot of work went into it. Five stars, very smoothly, five stars, five stars, beautiful. All right, give me a $250,000 marketing budget for the main event. And uh, let's move that up and make it a bit of a priority. Now, I don't suspect this thing is gonna make absolute tons of money, but I'm, I'm hopeful for good things. Uh, Horse Sim 11 is doing okay, and it could probably do with being ported now that I think about it. So let's try our best to get Horse Sim 11 onto some other systems. We are still porting Horse Sim 10, which is slightly disappointing. Uh, so let's prioritize 11, essentially, and let's see if we can get that onto some new systems and uh, get some more people playing it so that more people can start buying the expansion and doing all that good stuff. Hopefully it goes well. Also, Network 2026. Let's go ahead and start trying to uh, to patent that. 3D 2026 is about to be done as well. We really need to expand this legal team. The poor guys are going to be worked. Uh, they're going to be worked silly, to be honest. That's that's kind of where they're at, I think. Legal team definitely needs uh, a little bit of love. Also, ultimate bass fishing. So close to being done there. It'd be nice if they would, uh, you know, hurry up just a little bit. It'd also be nice if people would stop retiring. They're retiring more than they ever have. They're retiring like during the day now. <laughs> I don't like that. All right, so the main event just pulled in $3 million, which is fantastic news. Horse Sim 11 is being ported as well. So that's, ooh, Doors 3 just went out. Doors 3 just went out. It's outstanding. It is outstanding, but it's probably gonna need updated. Yeah. So we gotta, oh my God, the tech levels on these. Oh man. Okay, so we need to bring all of these tech levels up to date. So we need updates, 2D, 3D audio. We need to get everybody on this. Uh, we're bringing, we're not bringing hardware up, so that's okay. Uh, networking is being improved. Uh, systems are being improved as well. So everybody on this, source control it, update it, and prioritize it. Let's see if we can get this doors update done in a reasonable amount of time so that this operating system is now up to sort of modern standards and uh, what everybody's going to be expecting because I think that's going to help it sell a little bit better. Also, it is prominent marketing. It could be better, but I will take prominent for now. That is, that's, that's good enough is what that is. So let's take a look and see what kind of money we're looking at. Currently minus $4.5 million on Doors 3 has immediately gone to a profit of four point essentially $5 million, which is going to mean that last month was almost $10 million. That is going to be a problem because if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, we're not printing that thing right now. So we need to go ahead and start printing a maximum 250,000 copies. It does have over a million in stock, which is great, but let's try and, uh, you know, make sure that there's more than that in there. Let's also go ahead and throw uh, Doors 3 into the mix for the port jobs here. So Horse Sim 11, for example, uh, we're going to want to go in here and say that it is purely the updates team doing this as well. So Doors 3 for Vector Studio, uh, Captain Motor Stab 8, we want to go and maybe say can go to all of those operating systems. Uh, Horse Sim 10, we'll skip over it, I guess. Uh, we'll go down to Vertex Studio 3 and say it can go... Oh, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff it could go, it could go to. Let's let's put it on all of those. And Amplitude Studio 2, to be completely honest, kind of a similar boat. 
let's try and throw it onto a whole bunch of things as well. That is going to keep my updates team ridiculously busy. Ridiculously busy. I don't think they're ever going to finish all of these port jobs that I have them doing. Which is a shame, because if they did, we'd probably make an absolute ton of money. Really, the way I'm looking at it is we might just need to, you know, come over to this building here and turn some of these spaces into spaces for more update teams. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm also thinking it wouldn't be a bad idea to build another couple of meeting rooms here. Because that is kind of what a lot of this space was uh, supposed to be. So if I move these guys to, like, there... That gives us a nice open space and essentially what i want to do is go in here with some tables we'll go with like i guess these ones and we'll sort of go down i guess the middle of the room a bit like this and just lay out a bunch of tables we've also got stuff to repair and restore as well which we need to keep in mind uh but we'll do we'll do a bit of this it's not gonna be it's not gonna be a tremendous amount of space but i think that's probably all right uh so what we'll do is this we'll do this we'll get this on there as well and let's see i need to be that way around for that one as well okay so we'll go for this we'll get some nice uh chairs in here we'll just absolutely line the place with them and then i guess the idea is i just want to put a bunch of stuff in here to make it seem like a nice meeting room i want to put like TVs in here and bookcases and stuff like that. So like TVs like this one uh, could probably go, you know, on, on that wall, for example. Uh, we could do one on that wall. We could sort of do one down there, but that's kind of out of the way. We'll go for there. So we'll have three TVs around, which is pretty good. Uh, we'll also go and grab some paintings, some pictures, and we'll say maybe one right about, say, there and there. And we'll also go and put one sort of on this wall as well. And that seems pretty good. We'll go and change it though. So that one's going to be the computer and that one's going to be the cat because of course it is. And what else we got? We got some plants. Throw a nice plant in the corner, I guess. And what has this room got now in terms of stats? Skill goes up a little bit. Mood goes up a little bit. Effectiveness goes up a little bit. I'd like to bring the stats up a little bit further, I think. There we go. I think this looks pretty decent. It's still a lot of empty space, but at the very least, it's kind of a reasonable looking meeting room. We've also got a bunch of benches here where people from the games teams are just chilling for some reason, but I like it. I like it as a meeting space. As for this space here, I did mention the idea of putting a good old updates team in there, and that is something I think we're going to have to do. I really really think we're kind of at a point where we need to seriously figure out how we're going to, I guess, get these updates out in a, in a reasonable amount of time. So I hate to do this, but I'm going to cram an absolute ton of people into this space. I'm not going to go for something that is fancy is, is kind of how I'm looking at it. I'm going to go for something that is just going to be really, really kind of brutally efficient and that means just rows of desks and uh probably relatively miserable employees unfortunately uh but it it kind of is the only way that i think we're gonna you know get enough people to manage the amount of updates that we're trying to put out every year every month whatever so we'll go ahead and we'll just throw a whole bunch of people in there it's not even i mean it's it's cramped and it's not exactly stylish but it's also not as as cramped as i probably could make it uh, although i am going to put the room dividers in here just to you know give everyone their own space i guess it's not going to be good space but it's space at the very least and just like that we have a space for a new team it's not exactly luxurious but it'll certainly do the job it has how many chairs 26 so it doesn't even have as many chairs as the second updates team has, which isn't exactly ideal, but I'll take it. That's 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 going to have to do. So let's go to manage teams and let's go down to updates two, and we will copy these guys. And it's going to be updates uh, three and day. And then the night one is going to be the same thing. So updates 
uh, three and night. We'll go ahead and allow those. And we'll go in here and say that this room is going to be limited to, not, sorry, limited like that. It is going to be limited to a team. And it's going to be update uh, three is going to be allowed in that room. I'm actually really concerned at the number of employees I have that just sort of wander around and wait for free computers. Not really sure why they do that. I'm going to be honest. Not not really sure about it at all. But it is certainly a thing that they, uh, they seem to love to do. So more power to them, I guess. Let them uh, kind of chill and do their thing. Uh, now, what we need to do is start looking for some leaders. And we're going to be looking for HR and automation. Automation probably doesn't matter too much for these guys. So let's go HR socialization instead. And we're going to be looking for, instead of that, we are going to be looking at updates three and day. And we will go for Emily Freeman. And I guess we'll go for, uh, we're not looking at updates three day anymore. We're looking at updates three nights. We'll go for Diane Griffith. And they're both hired. So essentially, we're going to need 25 people that can manage these updates. Uh, so let me just pause and look at the HR management on this. So it's essentially programmers and artists that we need here. Uh, so what we could do is say maybe 15, well, maybe not 15, what about 18, maybe, maybe 18 programmers, seven artists on these guys. So we'll go for that budget. That's fine. Uh, role selection is best roles, I guess. We'll try that. And it's going to be 18 of these guys and seven of these guys. That'll give us 25 and then one space for the team leader. And that should be okay. So 1807 is what we're looking at here. And then it's the same thing down here. It's 1807 with a million dollars, apparently. And those teams should start to fill up a little bit. Hopefully they're going to be... Oh, wait, no, I need to go to... Uh, I need to go to employees, don't I? And I need to say that you are now the team leader. And you can do all this stuff as secondary. And then into this one, I need to go to you and change roles. All of this stuff is now going to be secondary with you as a leader. There we go. So now we should see the teams fill up a little bit. And hopefully we'll see some people come in at some point to do some good things. And then we can, you know, assign them to the various updates we have going on. Which, honestly, we probably want to do sooner than later. So, oh boy. That's adding operating systems. Let's get my uh, my updates teams in here as well. So update three on the horse sim job, and we'll see if that speeds it up at all. I kind of doubt it, but we'll certainly see. And there's a little meeting going on, which is lovely. I don't think you guys are... Yeah, you guys aren't part of the meeting. You're kind of just chilling. Oh, fair enough. Now, here's a bit of good news. The Doors 3 update is done, so let's finish that and get it out there. Uh, manage employees. Ooh, did we lose a team leader somewhere? I think we might have. Oh, God, people are having a lot of problems. Hey, updates day team lost their leader. Interesting. Okay. So, updates day absolutely did lose their leader. So, let's go ahead and find someone that can manage that. We didn't lose anyone from uh, project management. So, begin looking. And... Well, actually, let me close that for a second and go back to this. We want to sort by compatibility. We want updates day. And that's, yeah, that's fine. Accept all and close. Good job. Uh, my patent on 2016 systems is expired. Okay, well, begin looking. Let's see. So, Jason Watts, congratulations. You are, congratulations. There we go. Like I said, I can speak. Uh, you're hired. And we'll go ahead and make you the good old team leader right there. So there you go. You can then do all of this as secondary. And that should keep that team working pretty well. Which is exactly what we want them doing. And let's see how everything else is coming along here. So we should see this new updates team come in in the morning. We should, should see that team come in in the morning. It's a very big should. Uh, but hopefully they will. We also have some computers that seem to be breaking down. But there we go. So the updates team has come in. And hopefully that means that Horse Sim 11 is going to get ported that a little bit quicker. I don't think 
the team is full yet, so it might take a little, little bit before that happens. What are you doing? Who are you? Updates today. You're at work idle, no computer available. I find that hard to believe. What do you mean no computer available? Where is my updates to team supposed to be? Aren't they? Oh God, am I, am I losing it here? Who works in here? Games five, okay. Who works in here? Updates two. And that's programmers, that's artists. Right. But you're here now. So how many, right, how many programmer desks do we have? 26 and, oh. Oh, hold on a minute. So if I look here and I go to HR management, ooh, I know what we've done. Let me bring that down to 25 and that might help a little bit because I wonder if the team leader is maybe not using their office. That's a definite possibility. Uh, now this patent is done, which is lovely. This research is good to go as well. So let's send that out there. And let's see, Mississippi John, very close to beta, which is great news. Commander Stabby Face, taking a little while there on networking, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, do we, well, no, we'll kind of let the team just deal with it. I think they'll manage. Uh, what I do want to look at though, is Doors 3. It has made a profit. Horse Sim 11's add-on has made a bit of a profit as well. So we're doing okay there. And then this year it's April for the Enphone 4. And it's Vertex Studio 4 in March. And then nothing else, which is kind of kind of sad, to be honest. Uh, it's looking like May 2032 for Doors 4. It's looking like, let's see, December 2029 for Captain Murderstab 9. It's going to be, what are we looking, 20, December 2029 for Horse Sim 12 as well. And then Vector... They're designing nothing right now. Oh, they got a new leader, didn't they? Interesting. So they're going to be doing nothing at the minute. Vector Studio 7 is... Isn't even in the works. Wow. Okay. And then uh, October 2029 for Amplitude Studio 3. That is... That is kind of nuts. We can also assign a lead designer, I think. I don't know. It's... It's, it's kind of nuts just how far we've come with this company. It's kind of crazy to think about, you know, just everything we've released and, and all that stuff. I mean, if we uh, if we go and have a look here, which I do want to do. Uh, let's see. Supported operating systems for Horse Sim 7. Haven't put out antivirus in a while. I know, I know, I know. Uh, all companies. So, Hair Digital and Skip Ratty are worth over a billion each. Which is kind of nuts, actually, to see other companies getting up there a little bit. We have 51 products, which is kind of cool, considering I think we released all of them. I don't think we actually... Um, oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's those fire alarm violations that I think are getting me. That is... Uh, wow. Wow, that's another minus 19 million. That's, uh, oh, that's a bit rough. So basically, every single room needs a fire alarm. Uh, can we eat the cost of those fines? I feel like we can. I, I feel like I can eat the cost of those fines right now. But I feel like if I was... I, I feel like if I was to go and start this again, uh, I wouldn't want to eat the cost of those fines. Because it would... You know, sitting at $2.1 billion before we start seeing these fines come in. I think that's, um, I think that goes a long way to helping, you know, not really care about them, which obviously isn't the ideal way to play that. It's not, it's not the, the intended way to, uh, to, to deal with it in Software Inc. But I think if I was, you know, building a new company, I would very much kind of look at these fines and be like, man, I better start putting fire alarms and stuff in all my rooms. Which is kind of where I'm at now, of course. I'm having to go around and look at all these rooms and say, hey, let's let's figure out some fire alarms here because I am an idiot. All right, March 2027 means Vertex Studio 4 has gone out. It is great, which compared to Vertex Studio 3 is a downgrade, uh, which is slightly concerning. And the technology behind this thing is also not particularly great either. Uh, that is not what I wanted to do there. That is... 
absolutely not what I wanted to do, I don't think. Actually, maybe it is what I wanted to do. Um, let's just have all of those teams that were there working on updating this thing. I don't know what teams are doing it. It's like systems and well, who needs to be doing this? 3D and system, essentially. So 2D can come off of it. Audio comes off. Network comes off. And then it's everybody else, I believe. Yeah, we are good. Okay. So we'll let that update go ahead. We can also work on porting this thing to absolutely everything that it needs uh, ported to, which is going to be essentially all of these guys, including Doors 3. Doors, actually, interestingly, still has almost half a million active users. That's that's kind of nice. I'll be honest, I, I kind of like that. It's kind of nice that, you know, a couple of years later, we're doing okay. I don't necessarily know how I feel about Doors, you know, being like a, a bi-annual release. Although I guess this one is what, five years from now it's going out, so it's not really biannual, but we have put out like three in the last five years, I think, so we might want to be careful with that. We might want to keep an eye on that. And we also might want to make sure that this update goes out in a good amount of time, because that 3D programming is not going very quickly at all. You know, I've actually changed my mind here, and I'm just going to try and port all of these different things to my own operating systems for now just to try and i mean captain murder step 5 came out a while ago we can probably just cancel the port job on that uh amplitude studio 2 is fine we can keep it going to absolutely everything and vertex studio 4 is also fine we'll keep those port jobs going as well so let's move these guys up a little bit and having fewer operating systems to port to should just generally speed everything up a little bit and that's kind of what we need to do here is speed everything up and get my updates team back to working on you know actual updates as opposed to these massive port jobs that we have going on and hopefully this means that you know since we are slowing down the wait a minute oh my god did i i forgot to release this thing i forgot to release n phone 4 it was supposed to be out last month it was, it was supposed to be out in April. It is now May. I totally forgot to release it. It's late. Okay. Well, we'll release it. It is silly price. Uh, I'm not, I'm not happy about that. That's a color code. That's not a, that's not a, a price at all. Let's do uh 400,000 in marketing for this thing and move it up to the top and hope for the best is, is kind of what we're going to have to do here. So main event stop marketing uh defender stop marketing let's bring you down to a priority eight let's bring you up to a priority 10 and it is sparse marketing the price is also apparently ridiculous so let's bring the price down in fact let's look at the competition let's look at all software let's look at release dates and we have phone operating system that's us we have phone operating system here which was in december 395 so let's bring the 499, and I, I hate to do this, but let's do 394. So we're going to bring that price way, way down and uh, see what happens. I can't believe I forgot to release that. I really, I can't believe I just did that. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a little bit annoyed with myself on that one. I'm going to be honest. I'm a little bit annoyed, but we'll manage. My, uh, my marketing team is probably capable of pulling off miracles i i don't know that they are but we'll certainly find out i'm also thinking we might want to go in here and say inbox one let's update you and bring all of your tech levels up a little bit as well just to uh you know sort everything out there's also a lot of bugs that need fixed on this thing so what are we looking at updates 3d systems updates again 2d is getting updated uh audio is getting updated and networking is getting updated as well. So that'll be great. We'll throw that in there. And uh, NPhone 4, exact same thing. We need to go through and update absolutely everything on this thing to uh, make it sort of a modern phone operating system. So we'll throw that in there as well. And I want to make that the priority right now. NPhone 4 is kind of the, the big deal. It needs to be incredible. It needs to be huge. It needs to be successful. It needs to be popular. And uh, given the fact that we missed the release window and didn't, you know, delay it, I just forgot to release it. It's not like, uh, you know, it's 
It's not like it was delayed at the last minute. It just didn't go out. It just wasn't there. It just wasn't in stores. So we'll see what happens. We will uh, certainly, certainly see what happens here. Uh, good news is the marketing team is managing to spend 350000 on that thing. So that should help it a little bit. And it just made $14 million, So, uh, yeah, not bad. Immediately in there as unavoidable marketing. Oh, okay. I feel a little bit more relaxed now. I'm going to be honest. Uh, Mississippi John's ready to go into beta. So let's go ahead and start printing copies of that for a maximum of 250,000 uh, units. And let's figure out a release date for this thing. So everybody's working on it that needs to be working on it. We are going to start marketing this guy. It is going to be, let's see. It's You know, I, I don't even care if it's going to overlap with other games. Well, actually, no, I do. I absolutely, we also lost a team leader at one point. Who did we lose? Who did we lose? Hardware daytime. Okay. Let's sort that really quickly. Uh, so we're going to be looking to not go with this one. We're looking for hardware daytime. We'll begin looking. And we'll go for Quincy West. Quincy West seems like a good shout. So hire you. Let's go into my teams. And I'm looking for hardware day shift. We want to go to manage roles. And we're looking for uh, Quincy West, who is the team leader. There we go. So that should solve all those problems. Let's have a look at upcoming releases then. So event calendar. We have no games coming out this year whatsoever. So it is June right now. Let's go for October of 2027 for Mississippi John. It's our first adventure game. So let's move this guy to 2027. Let's say, you know what? Let's say holiday 2027. Let's go for December just to try and be a little bit safer on it. Give ourselves a little bit more wiggle room with a beta right there. So we'll do that. December 2027. We'll start putting together a press release. We'll start sending out press builds and we'll go ahead and start hyping this as well. And we'll see how that goes. We will prioritize working on getting the bugs out of there as well. And here's hoping for good things. Commander Stampy Face is still in the design phase. That might not get released. I'm going to be honest. We might never get that one done because it is just taking forever. But at the very least, Dream World and Ultimate Bass Fishing, I've got a good feeling about those. So Enphone 4 is still minus $37 million, despite last month doing $17.6 million uh, in sales. That's, I guess, to be expected. Also, Vertex Studio 4 is making a little bit of money, which is lovely. We could probably look at updating that thing. I think there's probably an update going for it already. There absolutely is. So that's good. We also have the update for Enphone 4, which is almost three quarters of the way done. So hopefully we can get that done this month. And uh, let's also hope that we don't forget a release date for Mississippi John. Since we've been sitting on that thing for so long, it'll hopefully actually go out in December and maybe get some sales. I'm not really expecting a miracle on that one. I've got to be honest. But we'll see. We'll absolutely see. I'm also going to throw Games 3 onto the Commander Stabby Face thing because at this point, they're just working on the, you know, the final touches of Mississippi John, so I'm not too stressed about it. And it might help Commander Stabby Face get done that a little bit quicker. So I have two teams working on the, uh, the RTS that we're trying to put out there. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, Games 2 is working on Dream World. Games 4 is working on Ultimate Bass Fishing. And everyone else is kind of doing their thing which is exciting. Three releases queued up for 2029. That's two games in December. Amplitude in October. I'd imagine some of these will get shifted though. I don't I don't think we're going to see all of those games just kind of sit there and and not get moved around, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I also want to just check here, monetarily speaking, we're kind of doing okay. Printing is still costing us a lot of money which is kind of to be expected, but that's all right. And let's see how people do. Oh my God, do we have a lot of broken, we have a lot of broken computers here. Good Lord. Yeah, we really do. This floor seems fine. Is this added to a room group right now? Group game studio, group none. Okay, let me select this floor. Let me select uh, this floor as well. 
and let me add them to room groups, which is going to be game studio, add selected rooms. There we go. So that should mean, I I mean, I think we have some uh, some staff that work in uh, in those. So if we look for game studio, we have cleaning, we have maintenance, we have IT. Yes. Yeah, so we probably need to expand all of those teams a little bit, get more maintenance, more cleaning, more IT, but we'll see what happens there. I'm not really super stressed about it. Uh, the end phone update is done, so we'll push that out. Let's get the Vertex update done over Inbox One since it's going to be a kind of a long-term thing. And the port jobs are coming along really nicely as well. Uh, Commander Stabby Face, on the other hand, is genuinely looking like it's kind of taking forever. Oh man, with that cheeky update to End Phone 4, it gave us 25 million last month. That is... That's kind of nuts. That is that is kind of nuts. I'm uh, I'm quite happy with that one. I gotta be honest. I uh, I'm quite happy with that one. That should mean that we're bringing in a pretty decent amount of money. So let's go ahead and look at some other companies for a second, and let's see here. What are these guys up to? So they have 200 million right now. Details wise, they are working on Office Pro 12, which is going to be next December. They have the extra add-on, I assume, for Office Pro 11, due out this year. And their lead designer is doing all right, honestly. I'm not really interested in pulling, you know, the lead designer out of this company. I don't think we need to do that. And they specialize in Office Software. That's fine. What's your portfolio? So you've done... Interesting. So you've done the last, uh, last 10 years of Office Pro. That's not bad. I was, I mean, Office Office software is like the, uh, that is the one thing that we haven't really uh, gone ahead and, and developed as far as I'm aware, but I also don't see the need to do it since we have a subsidiary doing it. I know we're called Nerdrasoft, and I know that, you know, making a, uh, a suite of Office software would sort of be on brand, but I don't, I don't really know that we need to do that. I also want to just check something here. So this is the updates team i can add signs to doors right so if i do like updates team and i like copy that and paste it it puts it like kind of weirdly on the door <laughs> i don't know i don't know how i feel about that uh what about like updates so what is what does it look like when it opens is it oh wow that's it's a little weird oh it's a little weird i don't know that i like that it's it's cool but i don't know that i love it i've got to be honest i don't does that, does this change? That's just the door handles. Interesting. I don't know that I love that. I don't. It's, it's, it's a little strange, but it is, you know, I'd imagine, I mean, it's, it's beta. It's, it's whatever. It's, it's, it's a thing that exists is what it is. Uh, now commander savvy face looks like it is right on the brink. There we go into development. Okay. So is this thing going to take forever? Cause I feel like this thing is going to take forever. And it looks like it's going to take forever. I'm almost tempted to add all of my other teams to this thing to get it done. Uh, I'm also thinking, let's go ahead and push this update out right there. And let's go ahead and see if we can get this inbox one update done in a good amount of time as well. Just to try and get some extra sales. That's that's kind of where I'm at here. Also, Commander Stabby Face. Yeah, it is going to take forever. It really is. That's that's a little disappointing. Oh my god. Uh, what do we do? 16 million right there. Not bad. 26 million from uh from Enphone 4. What else are we doing? Let's let's have a quick look at uh, past month sales. So right at the top is the that is what Enphone. Uh then doors. That's pretty good. Okay, yeah, we we got a few things. What about what what is this one? Vertex Studio 6 from last year. Uh, Defender from 2020, last month, still 2.5 million. Okay, so something that's seven years old. We actually probably should start working on a sequel to Defender. That might not be a bad idea. We probably do want to look into that. Otherwise, it's going to go the way of Bug Blocker, and it's going to go to the public domain eventually, which ideally isn't going to happen. Also, I've just realized Captain Murder Stab, the first one, was 2003. That is... That's kind of nuts. It doesn't feel like it was that long ago. It really doesn't. 
That's that's the weird thing with this game is it speeds up. It, in a lot of ways, it speeds up because you find yourself releasing the 10th and 11th and 12th. 12th? 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 The 13th version of different pieces of software. And then you look back and you're like, man, I've, I've put 13 of those out. So, yeah, let's make a sequel to Defender, I guess. I don't, I don't see why we shouldn't, right? So, antivirus price is going to be 59. Let's do subscription based. Let's let's do subscription based just because we can. We'll host it on Nerdresoft. It'll be source controlled as usual. Um the framework can be I don't know, an existing one. Um let's What are we looking for here? Nerdresoft, Nerdresoft AV. That's the old one, isn't it? Good lord. That is not quite what we're looking for at all. Uh Defender Core is what we're looking at there and we'll bring all these tech levels up i don't know if it actually updates the framework or not but whatever uh the 2d editor for this guy tech level is there's none that have 2026 so we will just use vector studio 6 which is 2023 and that's all right and operating systems for this guy i'm gonna say sloth x and doors 3 actually is the second most popular right now so let's go for those because that'll keep dev time down a little bit and in terms of auto balance it's whatever in terms of teams it is system it is 2d it is network so essentially none of the games teams are working on this it is going to be systems uh it is going to be 2d and it is going to be network and then we'll go in here we'll do exactly the same thing so 2d network and system and about a year that's honestly okay thurman davis can work on this We'll go ahead and develop it. I don't imagine this thing is going to take long to develop at all, which is absolutely what we want. We want this thing to be a relatively quick turnaround. It's kind of a, honestly, it's a cash grab. It is a quick cash grab because we haven't put one out in a while. People are going to notice. And I mean, it's an antivirus software. It's, it's, I mean, look at that. It's, it's a quick thing. And just like that, it is December 2027, which means Mississippi John gets to go out to the people. So let's release it and see what everyone thinks. It is brilliant. Isn't that buggy? Five stars, two stars, and five stars. So basically no one knows who we are when it comes to this kind of game, but uh, yeah, fair enough. Are we supposed to know who Nerdresoft is? Uh, you probably should at this point. 10 million people are fans of the company. We have 2.2 billion dollars in the bank i would say we're doing pretty well uh but mississippi john it is outstanding let's immediately get in here with some updates uh, i'm not actually too stressed on this one whether or not we use our own uh software for the the tools on this thing so we'll go ahead and use print stop for we'll go ahead and use vertex studio for and we'll go ahead and use i guess uh what are we looking at here uh, let's go for this one. I suppose that's what we'll go for. Audible Maker Pro 5. We'll throw that in there. Approximately two years, apparently, to do this. I somehow doubt it. Uh, but we're going to be looking at uh, a 2D upgrade. We're looking at some systems upgrades. We're looking at all of the updates, of course. Looking at 3D, looking at audio, looking at more updates. That's 14 teams. Hit that with an update. Prioritize that update. And let's see if Mississippi John can actually be a great thing. Uh, we also want to port this, of course, to other operating systems, which frustratingly is a lot of operating systems. It is specifically 15 operating systems. Now, the Amplitude Studio 2 port is very, very nearly done. Oh, we're also being robbed, apparently. Oh, they left empty-handed. Okay. Uh, the Amplitude Studio 2 port is very, very nearly done. So we'll kind of let my updates team deal with that uh the mississippi john update is coming along let me close all of these notifications didn't lose anyone from project management either so that's fine yeah i uh i'm i'm feeling good about this it's outstanding at the very least uh marketing for it let's make that a priority and move it sort of towards the top a little bit right there we'll see what it does i'm not expecting you know, hundreds of millions of dollars from Mississippi John, but I'm kind of hoping for, you know, a little, a little something, something in there. We'll see, uh, we'll see what happens with it. As for the rest of them, 
So they're they're coming along. They're they're definitely getting there. Uh, the Inbox One update is very close to being finished as well, which is lovely news because hopefully that's going to get us some extra sales on that one. And I, I guess we'll see what happens here. Let's keep an eye on it. We're going to be at minus. What are we looking? Oh, 3.9 million. Okay. Uh, we'll give you a non-binding contract, I suppose, because I don't want to give you exclusive leads. So congratulations. You have a non-binding contract with us now. And uh, away you go. Get out of my office. All right. So 3.9 million on Mississippi John. And uh, let's see. Oh, we should be hearing back from the fire inspector any moment as well. That's something I'm very excited about, of course. I love fire inspections. Love them every time. Absolutely every time. My favorite thing. Uh, <laughs> I look forward to seeing how negligent I am as a company owner here. I really do. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm expecting, I'm expecting good things. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's this month. Maybe it's January they show up. Either way, I did put more fire alarms throughout the buildings, so we shouldn't see like minus 19 million dollars. We shouldn't. There's a chance we will, but we, we shouldn't. Oh, that's not bad. After the update, Mississippi John's on 5.7 million, so not bad. And I was right. It's only minus 14 million this time. Not bad. Uh, basically, there's still a bunch of rooms. Every single highlighted room you can see there is missing either a fire. Uh, what am I looking for? A sprinkler or it's missing a fire alarm. I'm still I'm not I'm not going to go in there and deal with it because I think we are still making enough money that minus 14 million is negligent. Yeah, it's you know, so we did 17 million in November. So once a year. We're going to be getting minus 14 million, whereas we are making, you know, 17 million every other month. So I'm not really stressed about it. I've got to be honest. I'm not I'm not really too stressed about that. Uh, this patent is ready to go through. So that's great. Defender 2 is coming along. This update here has two more bugs to fix for the inbox one. And then we are good to release that as well. So inbox one is right here still has decent numbers of uh active users which is lovely still made a little bit of money last month which is also lovely the add-on for it made absolutely nothing but that's fine so that's nice that's that's good i'm quite happy about that definitely definitely quite happy about that hopefully we see uh you know an uptick in uh in sales for the console that would be very nice and we absolutely did it just shot up to 3.4 million so it's absolutely making money it just went from like 500 million a month oh sorry 500,000 a month to 3.4 million that's uh that's pretty good that is uh that is that is pretty good for the old uh, inbox one right there now let's go and look at an update for nphone 4 it has a lot of bugs over a thousand of them so let's get this thing looked at a little bit uh so updates of course 2d 3d Actually, it's technically just the 2D stuff that we're looking at. So we want to take everybody else off of this project and just have the uh, the 2D guys looking at it there. So that should be fine. We'll go ahead and throw that update out there. Defender, I'm I'm thinking we probably we probably want to bring this stuff up a little bit. Maybe I don't know if I care too much about the 2D side of it. So let's not do that. And let's just do uh, none. And we're looking at all of my updates teams. To be completely honest, we could probably get away with just the updates teams on this. But we'll get system and network on there as well since we have some bugs. So we'll throw that update in there. And Amplitude Studio. Again, we'll bring system up to date. But I'm not going to hit 2D and audio because we have another one due out soon enough. Uh, so systems, network comes off and we'll update. Mostly, I just want to get rid of the bugs that we're seeing here. Inbox 360 has two bugs right now, which I don't love. Uh, Mississippi John, for example, has some bugs in there, but we will deal with those in uh, in in good time, I'm sure. Oh, now this is a little bit exciting. Dream World is due to release in December this year. It is currently in beta, and Ultimate Bass Fishing is due to release in October of this year. I basically went ahead and shuffled some teams around a little bit, and said, hey, you guys work on this, you guys work on that, you guys work on the other. 
because I was tired of these things taking forever. So at the minute, I have the network and systems teams working on Commander Stabby Face as well, and Defender 2 there, actually ready to go into uh, Alpha as well. So we'll see how that goes along. Uh, these updates down here are sort of coming along. Still some bugs to fix in all of these, but let's go ahead and prioritize the... Uh, the Defender update is what I want to prioritize there, just to see if we can get that done. And then we'll sort of swing it around and start prioritizing some of the other ones as well. Just to see if we can, you know, get these all done before Defender 2 goes out and before other things happen as well. And it's looking like that's going at a pretty good pace. So, yeah, Defender 2 is going to take a little while to go out. So I'm not super stressed about that. Of course, Enphone 4 is the thing that I want to update the most because its sales have dropped a little bit. Mississippi John actually up there almost taking over Enphone 4 in sales. It is doing ridiculously well at the moment. Really wasn't expecting that. Uh, Dream World, let's go ahead and market you. And Ultimate Bass Fishing will market you as well. Not bad. I'm actually really surprised at how well uh, Mississippi John is doing for us right here. 50 million in uh, in profit in almost a year. I mean, we, we've had higher from different games, but I think the port, you know, the slow drip feed porting that we're doing is probably helping us out a little bit there, which is lovely. That's good. That's kind of what we're looking for. So this uh, this Defender update, two more bugs to go. If we could get those done, that would be kind of fantastic. So I can finish this update and then we'll move everybody on to Amplitude, which is nearly done as well. Couple of people retiring there. It's not affected any of my project management tasks though. So that's fine. There we go. Defender is done. So Amplitude Studio 2, let's get you guys on that one and finish that. And then let's get you guys on Enphone 4 and try and get all those bugs sorted as well. We don't need to do all the bugs in this update, but we might as well, since it's not going to take too long to do that. Finish the print job for Captain Motorstab 9, which is releasing in May of 2029, as opposed to December. We have Vertex Studio 5, December 2029. Doors 4, May 2031. Captain Motorstab 9 uh, is May 2029. Horse Sim 12 is December 2029. Vector Studio 7 is October 2030. And Amplitude Studio 3 is October 2029. 2029, gearing up to be a really big year for the company, but I don't... I'm not promising we're going to see it. I'm just I'm just saying, no promises that that is actually going to be a thing, because we, we do have some things that we need to do. And uh, the first one is we need to release Ultimate Bass Fishing. So let's go ahead and put it out there. And no one knows who we are, apparently, but it's a five star and a five star. So let's give it the usual 250,000 marketing budget. Let's move this guy up to the top and uh, we need to immediately go in there. Mississippi John is up to 12.2 million. So ultimate bass fishing. We need to do a couple of things with it. We need to update it. And what we're going to do here is the same thing we've done before, where at this stage, we're not really going to care what the editors are that we're using. So print stop four and vertex studio four. And then I guess we'll use audio tune five, right? And then for the teams, it's of course going to be updates and system, but we're also looking at networking. We're also looking at the 2d. We're also looking at the 3d and we're looking at the audio as well. So we'll put all of those guys in there. It's approximately a year to do this. So let's hit that update as quick as we can, and let's immediately, immediately, immediately start porting this thing as well. So it is going to go to all of the current operating systems, essentially. So Next OS, Doors 3, Enphone. Uh, so all of those guys. It is really nice to see Doors 3 and Enphone up there. Both two, you know, two of my products in the top most popular operating systems. That is, that's a nice feeling. I've got to be honest. That is a really nice feeling. So let's go ahead and prioritize that update on uh, Ultimate Bass Fishing and see if we can get it out there. And I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll finish the end phone update as well and then immediately go in there because it still has bugs and we will sort the bugs. But what we'll do is we're just going to say it's the updates team working on the bugs. So we'll throw that in there. It is a lesser priority 
Ultimate Bass Fishing needs ported and updated. So we'll see how that goes. In fact, let's bring the port jobs down and let's prioritize the update on this instead. And hopefully we can get it done. Hopefully we can get it done quickly. And it's looking like we absolutely can do that. So that should mean the ultimate bass fishing is sort of the go-to game for people that want a sports game. That's that's what we're looking for. A formal complaint. You work in the 3D team, your job's not from here's $76 to shut up. And so with a few updates out the door, let's see what we're looking at. We're currently minus 100 and let's say 75,000 in ultimate bass fishing. Mississippi John is 12 million. Enphone is 11.3 million. What is that all going to go to? We are going to, oh boy. I don't like the idea of giving you either of these things. I'm going to be completely honest. We'll give you royalties though. That's fine. Ultimate bass fishing went to 6.7 million. Mississippi John 15.2 and phone four is still 10 million. That's honestly not bad. That is, that is not bad at all. I'm actually really surprised the ultimate bass fishing sold as well as it did. That is really surprising. We have Dream World due out next month, and we are porting these things down here. We're doing good things. Honestly, we're doing we're doing great work. I'm I'm genuinely quite uh, quite pleased about this. A piece of equipment broke and started a fire. Is that is that so? I don't happen to see a fire. It needs a chair to become... Did we... Did I miss the fire? I think I might have missed the fire. Did that room have... Does that room have... It does. Oh. We have a sprinkler. Nice. Okay. So if something caught fire. <laughs> Let's replace all of that and get that fixed. I didn't even see it. Genuinely didn't even see it. Just got a notification. Something caught fire. It was, I heard a siren and thought it was like... I was playing GTA or something. But uh, no, we're okay. We didn't really lose much because we had a sprinkler in there. That's that's probably trying to send me a message, but I'm not going to pay attention to it. What I am going to pay attention to is real-time strategy games coming out in 2029, which is looking like none. There are none. Okay. April 2029. Commander Stabby Face is going to go out to the world. So April, let's get that locked in. Let's go ahead and start marketing this thing. Let's go ahead and put out a press build for this thing. Let's go ahead and hype this thing as well. Uh, and we'll see what happens. It is it is the official sort of standalone Sergeant Stabby Face sequel, as it were. You know, the Sergeant Stabby Face story, of course, was told through expansions to the popular Captain Murder Stab franchise. It was sort of standalone, not standalone expansions, but uh, expansions set in the world of Captain Murder Stab, uh, not necessarily starring Captain Murder Stab, but, uh, you know, Sergeant Stabby Face and uh, all the, the story that went on there, what with, you know, being a hero and then, you know, getting framed for something and then having to reclaim their honor and all that good stuff. And then eventually, this is the sequel. This is many, many years later, Sergeant Stabby Face. I don't remember what the story is. I said it was for this one. But look, many, many years later, Sergeant Stabby Face comes out of retirement, is made Commander Stabby Face, and is now leading an army. That's why it's a real-time strategy game. This is essentially a game... We, we couldn't do a story of this scale in a first person shooter. So we're telling the Commander Stabby Face story through uh, RTS. Anyway, it is time to release Dream World, something I'm not entirely excited about because to be quite honest, I, I don't think I come up with a story for that one. So Dream World, let's go ahead and release you. Let me guess, no one's gonna know who I am. It's gonna be five, two, and four. Ooh, it's only four. I don't know how I feel about that one. I don't know how I feel about that one, but we'll see what we can do with it. Let's uh, let's move it up to the top as well, and immediately we need to go in there and we need to do two things. We need to update this guy, which is actually not going to be as big a project as the other game updates, which is good news, but we want the 2D editor to just be, again, top of the line. We'll go Vector Studio 6. We'll go in there with Vertex Studio 4. We'll go in there with this guy audio tune five 
and that should be all right. So the updates team uh, needs to work on this. The 2D team needs to work on this. The 3D team needs to work on this. Audio and system needs to be in on this one as well. So systems are right there. It is going to be source controlled. It's going to be updated. And of course, it's going to be ported as well. So that should just be my updates team. And this one has a lot of operating systems to go to, unfortunately. But we are going to try and do all of them and get that slow burn release across multiple systems, giving us a little bit of steady income over the years. So let's prioritize this guy and we will see if we can get the Dream World update out in good time. But I don't know. Looking at it. I don't know. So honestly, not bad. 2.3 million for Dream World is okay on sparse marketing. We have 9.3 on Ultimate Bass Fishing, 13.7 on Mississippi John. We have 8.2 on the end phone. Inbox one is still getting 2.3 million. So we're doing okay in terms of income for all of those things. We are going to be porting everything still, which is gonna take a while because we're starting to build up these port jobs again because we're releasing things close together but i'm not really super stressed about that because we are a hair away from being a 2.5 billion dollar company i think we've done pretty good here i really do i think what we're gonna do is have commander stabby face be the last thing that nerdrasoft releases although i just want to make sure nothing's going to release awkwardly around that same time and yeah captain okay you know what actually captain murder stab releases the month after so in april we put out at long last the standalone stabby face game and the next month is captain murder stab 9 the game that started it all for good old commander stabby face so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna release two games and we're gonna call it a day and i'm a little it's a little bittersweet i know we're gonna we're gonna play more of this we got oh god oh uh, all right well that's 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 just a little bit bitter um we're gonna be playing more of this like i said at the start like i said in the last couple of episodes i i usually do one software ink series per year this time around i'm really wanting to try out hard mode really wanting to uh give it a proper shot and see if we can do some good stuff there see what else we can we can do see what other buildings we come up with and see if we can even beat the game that time because hard mode i've heard is brutal so i don't know i've played this game for years it's always been on like medium or easy i think it's about time we try hard mode same with city skylines actually i've been thinking about like a hard mode run of city skylines without mods to see if it's possible because it does have a hard mode I just don't know what hard mode in City Skylines means, so that might be kind of fun. I've been playing that game for a long time too, so you know it probably makes sense that we give that a shot anyway. Uh, at, at, you know, at some point. But anyway, Dream World. Let's finish that update and get it out there. Let's see what exactly we're dealing with. So Mississippi John, are we? I, I think we're dealing with like support on all of these things. There's over a million people playing Mississippi John right now. Oh my god. That's kind of nuts. Where is that in our um, profit at the moment? So it, it, it is right there. That's honestly not bad. Doors 3 is right there. And they're the most recent releases. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. It's Horse Sim 6 that really ran away with the... Uh, <laughs> Horse Sim ran away with it. Uh, it's I'm, I'm quite pleased about that. I'm getting a little nostalgic now. I'm going to miss all of this. I've been kind of used to loading up this map. There we go. Over $2.5 billion. I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. Enphone 4 has a uh, a bunch of bugs getting worked on. Mississippi John's almost done with its porting as well, which is lovely. And so Commander Stabby Face releases to the public with no one knowing who we are in this particular genre. It's not that buggy and a lot of work went into it i'm a little worried about it not having five stars across the board and it is hopefully outstanding it is okay so that we can deal with let's immediately start updating this thing as well same thing we do with every single game we want to bring these tech levels up as high as we possibly can so we're going to be using you know vector studio as per usual 
We're going to be using Vertex Studio. In fact, we're going to use this one because it has a higher tech level. And we're going to use this guy for 2027 tech as well. Uh, so the teams on this, I suppose, are Network Audio 3D, 2D, and Systems. So 2D, uh, 3D Audio Systems, and Networking was the other one that we wanted. So those guys right there. Do we have a team on this that shouldn't be on this right now? Is that is that a little something we got going on? One, two, three, four, five. We're missing one of these. We're missing uh, updates night. So we're missing you guys. There we go. So we'll get you guys on that. Approximately two years, apparently. I'm hoping it'll be a bit quicker than that. But we will certainly see. I'm also thinking I want to bring some marketing budgets up a little bit here to try and really get the marketing to be unavoidable. So Enphone, for example, has a budget of 400,000. Uh, Mississippi John, I don't think needs a higher budget. This guy doesn't need a higher budget. You, on the other hand, let's give you like 350. Let's, let's not go for 400. We'll go for 350. And Commander Stabby Face, I'm going to say the same there. And let's give you a priority 10 marketing. Let's give you like an 8. Give you like an 8. We'll keep you at 10. You're at like a 6 and you're like a 2. So we'll see how that goes. I don't necessarily know that we're going to have enough uh, marketing to deal with all of these releases and, of course, the releases that are being marketed through project management. But I'm just curious to see how Commander Stabby Face does. We also need to port it, now that I remember, uh, to all of the different systems as per usual. So all of those guys, and we'll see how that goes. We're never, we're never going to finish it. We're never going to get there, but we might as well try. Might as well try. Might as well see what happens. Uh, support, I think, is starting to fall behind on some things as well. I think the runaway success of um, some of our products here is really... It's its given my support team some problems. You know, there's three quarters of a million people still using Doors 3. There's uh, 800,000 on Enphone 4. There's 1.1 million on Mississippi John. Almost 700,000 on Ultimate Bass Fishing. So... Yeah, my, my support team is now struggling to keep up. But to be fair, it's a good problem to have. I'm, I'm not really complaining about it. And money is coming in beautifully as well. Formal complaint. Job's not fulfilling. You know what? Here's $80 to leave me alone. That's that's how I see it. That's that's how I see it. We're doing, we're doing pretty good here. I think Nerdresoft has wound up being more successful than I ever really imagined it was going to be here. So, let's see if we can get this Commander Stabby Face update out. I don't think it's going to go out today, which is honestly all right. I'm not super stressed about it. Let's just see what it does in terms of money. So, it is, let's say, minus $125,000. It goes to a grand total of, when it loads, $1.6 So, really not that much. A little disappointing, actually to be to be brutally honest that is it's a little disappointing hopefully the update can fix that you know we got some bugs being sorted out we got the tech levels being brought up so we'll see if that turns it around if it doesn't it's it's not the end of the world who's complaining now uh job's not fulfilling well here's 80 dollars you uh you enjoy that bud you uh you enjoy your 80 dollars now we should have captain motor stab nine going out this month that's kind of an exciting thing oh my god they're all complaining here's 80 dollars i just i just i just want to release captain motor stamp that's it that's all i want to do is is release captain here's another 80 dollars i just i just want the game out there because if you think about it that's five games that we're putting out they're all making pretty good money i mean mississippi john making ridiculous money that's not bad it's not bad. It's 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 actually pretty good uh, the way we got things going here. So let's see. Can we, by any chance, finish this little update? It looks like the audio team that's holding me back right now. Audio art specifically is is holding me back. So if they wouldn't mind just, you know, finishing that, it would be kind of great. Looks like they're kind of taking their time. There we go. Captain Motorstab 9 is out. It is outstanding. Uh, update it immediately to uh, all the highest tech levels. And we'll just throw everybody at this as well. So we'll throw that in there. We'll throw... Ver you know what? We'll throw this in there for the 2027 tech level. And we'll throw this guy in there for 2026. And update as per usual. 
let's get that in there and let's start porting this guy as well to all of the latest systems again a port job that will never be finished because it's huge but at the very least captain motor stab nine i think uh has has released we've put out we've put out a lot of games lately and that honestly has me super tempted to make a game dev studio next time around make a company that really only does games that sounds kind of exciting um golden handshake there you go congratulations all right so how how are we looking so commander stabby faces update didn't go out unfortunately that's a little frustrating um let's bring the priority down on this so we can try and finish this one and let's see uh 3.2 million 4 million 12 million 17 8 and 1. you can't be bad to that you cannot complain about that. That's I really can't. I'm so pleased. Uh, Captain Motorstab Nine immediately made a profit, six point four million last month. Good. That's what we're looking for. That is absolutely what we're looking for. There we go. That's just needing its bugs sorted, and away it goes. So that should keep everything okay. Let's now prioritize the Captain Motorstab update, and now I just want to see how Commander Stabby Face does. Vertex Studio Five print job is done. When does that release? That releases this December. Interesting. So does Horse Sim. Not bad. We have a lot of games going out this year. I'm excited about this. I'm so excited about this. I'm so just happy with where we've we've gotten to here. So let's let's see what Commander Stabby Face does with the update, and then let's call it a day. And so with the update, it's still 3.3 million. So it actually wasn't all that successful in the grand scheme unfortunately it has at the very least made a profit so every game that we've released in the last couple of years has turned a profit which is exactly what we wanted them to do so i'm happy about that i'm really i'm really quite happy with that that has me so tempted to do a dedicated like game company the next time around and so as the sun rises on a very wealthy and successful Nerdrasoft, the sun must set on this particular series of Software Inc. I've been blown away by the support and the love and just the comments and all the feedback on this series. It's been it's been so much fun. I've I've really enjoyed it. I hope you have as well. And like I said, this isn't necessarily the end. Usually it is this time it's going to be a little bit different because obviously throughout this series there were a couple of different time lapses i basically want to take that concept and turn it into a couple of one-off videos i have two ideas at the minute for sort of standalone builds that i want to put together and then put out on the steam workshop i'm not going to tell you what they are of course because spoilers but i want to do a couple of let's build videos in software inc and then i want to do a hard mode series i want to see if i can beat it and that is going to be that. That's all I've got. That's going to be the end of Software Inc. Beta 1, Nerdrasoft, etc., etc. The next series will be Software Inc. Hard Mode or something like that. So keep an eye out for that in video titles. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.